Researchers recently revealed this secret world, which experts recognize as an underground river. The approximately 2-kilo rock was discovered in December of 1984. Antarctica is the world's supermost and least populated continent. It includes the geographic South Pole, located nearly wholly south of the Antarctic Circle and surrounded by the Antarctic Ocean. It's a hotspot for scientific study. Although some individuals like planning cruises to Antarctica, such journeys are more of a drive-by. But what you'll find shocking is that around 400 scientists spend the winter on this frozen continent each year. The region's chilly and severe circumstances have stopped humans from venturing too far. Yet, what has been uncovered so far has been both intriguing and horrifying. Everything from hidden ecosystems and ancient DNA to logic-defying blooms and frightening fish nests is thrilling. What kinds of secrets do Antarctica's sub-zero areas hold? What strange living forms have evolved deep under the ice sheets? Join us as we explore the new discoveries under the Antarctic ice that shocks the whole world. Hidden World of Marine Life A never-before-seen ecology lives deep under Antarctica's frozen surface in an underground river. Researchers recently revealed this secret world exposing a dark, jagged tunnel with swarms of tiny, shrimp-like organisms. The scientists discovered the hidden underground home underneath the Larsen Ice Shelf, a gigantic floating sheet of ice adjacent to the Antarctic Peninsula eastern coast that notably gave birth to the world's most enormous iceberg in 2021. Satellite images revealed an odd groove near the ice shelf where it met the ground, which experts recognize as an underground river. The crew excavated roughly 1,640 feet, or 500 meters, below the ice surface to access the underground chamber using a solid hot water hose. As the researchers sent a camera down the freezing tunnel and into the cavern, the video feed was blocked by hundreds of small, fuzzy specks in the water. Initially, the crew suspected that their equipment was defective. After focusing the camera, they discovered the lens was besieged by small crustaceans known as amphiopods. This surprised the researchers, since they had yet to anticipate finding any form of life this deep under the frozen surface. Logic-defying bottom blooms Recent research has discovered very unusual phytoplankton blooms near the bottom and under sea ice at both poles. Two unconnected new investigations have detected illogical phytoplankton blooms lying under the ocean's surface in both Earth's polar regions. The exceedingly unusual bottom blooms, which develop near the seabed in the Arctic and below sea ice in Antarctica, might sustain unknown ecosystems. Phytoplankton are small photosynthetic algae that contribute to almost half of the primary production in Earth's seas, converting sunlight to biologically accessible energy and supporting the marine food chain. Phytoplankton blooms seen from space are gorgeous green swirls on the ocean surface, and this happens when algaes grow fast owing to the excess accessible nutrients. On the other hand, phytoplankton needs sunshine, which confines blooms to the upper layer of the water, where sunlight is highest. The Arctic and Antarctic have some of the world's most nutrient-rich waters, which sustain large phytoplankton blooms during the summer, when sea ice is at its thinnest and sunlight can reach more of the ocean surface. Nevertheless, when sea ice accumulates in the winter, the blooms lose access to sunlight and perish. World's Largest Fish Breeding Ground Researchers discovered over 60 million Antarctic ice fish nests in a 240-square-kilometer region of the Weddell Sea. Researchers were overjoyed when they saw several fish nests on the monitors on board the German research vessel Polar Stern in February 2021 which their towed camera system broadcast live to the boat from the seabeds 535 to 420 meters below the ship in the Antarctic Weddell Sea. The longer the operation went on, the more excited the crew became, culminating in disbelief. Nest after nest, with subsequent detailed examination, indicating that there was, on average, one breeding site every three square meters, with a team even discovering a maximum of one to two existing nests per square meter. The crew could identify this circular fish nest, around 15 centimeters deep and 75 centimeters in diameter, distinguished from the generally murky bottom by a round center region of tiny stones. Several types of fish nests were identified, active nests which contained between 1,500 and 2,500 eggs and guarded in three quarters of the cases by an adult ice fish of the species Neopagotopsis, or nests containing only eggs, an unused nest in the vicinity of which either a fish without eggs or a dead fish could be seen. The researchers mapped the location and density of the nest using OFOB's long-range but lower-resolution side-scan sonars, which captured over 100,000 nests. 
extraterrestrial life. What goes by the ludicrous scientific name ALH84001 generated quite a controversy among scientists in the 1990s. The approximately 2-kilo rock was discovered in December of 1984 in Antarctica's Allen Hills and recognized as Martian meteorite nine years later. Nonetheless, in 1996, researchers uncovered some odd formations on the cosmic floor, which they interpreted as traces of prehistoric microbes. Since the residues are so minute, they must be ascribed to nanobacteria. Moreover, the carbonate inclusions have magnetic changes commonly created by our planet's microbes. Yet, it's also conceivable that non-biological processes form the mineral. Some who think the Martian meteorite contains evidence of alien life consider this as proof that the panspermia idea is accurate. According to this theory, life on Earth didn't originate on our blue home planet, but was transported there across tremendous distances. The Wreck of the Endurance Researchers have discovered the British ship called Endurance, the vessel that launched one of the most remarkable stories of survival and determination. The wreck of the steam yacht Endurance, memorably sunk in 1915 during an Antarctic expedition led by polar explorer Ernest Shackleton, has been located by searchers using autonomous underwater vehicles. According to the Falkland Maritime Heritage Trust, FMHT, which financed the search, the wreckage was discovered at 9,869 feet under West Antarctica's Weddell Sea. That's just four nautical miles or seven kilometers south of the site identified by the ship's captain, Frank Worsley, who used a sextant to record the position of the ship sinking after many months of being besieged and subsequently crushed by ice. The rediscovery results from years of searching for the wreck of the Endurance, partly renowned due to the spectacular images of her sinking and the incredible story of survival that followed. Yet, the wreck lies just a few hundred miles off the coast of Antarctica. The area is often covered in sea ice, forcing earlier search attempts to be abandoned. The trip has been unsuccessful for many weeks. The expedition's commander, John Shears, called identifying a ship in distant and frigid seas the world's most difficult shipwreck search. The vessel will not be harmed while being examined and videotaped, according to Endurance 22, and is officially protected as a historic landmark and a monument under the Antarctic Treaty. One million year old DNA sample lurking beneath Antarctic seafloor. DNA from ancient bacteria, some dating back one million years, has been found under the bottom of Antarctica. Recent research shows that DNA is the oldest identified in the bottom sediments. Scientists accidentally obtained the rare genetic material, sedimentary ancient DNA, or SETA DNA, up to 584 feet under the seabed as part of a 2019 study conducted by the International Ocean Discovery Program in the Scotia Sea north of mainland Antarctica. Researchers studied the SETA DNA samples for the first time in the current study, published online in Nature Communications. The researchers examined the damage patterns in the retrieved DNA pieces to determine their age. The oldest pieces were roughly 1 million years old. Before recently, the oldest set of DNA discovered frozen beneath Arctic permafrost dated back approximately 650,000 years, according to Science Alert. The pieces are the earliest verified marine set of DNA identified to date, study lead Arthur Linda Armbrecht, a researcher from the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Research at the University of Tasmania in Australia, said in a statement. According to Armbrecht, the samples have been extraordinarily well-maintained owing to low temperatures, low oxygen concentrations, and the lack of UV light. Scientists need to find out which species the oldest set of DNA belongs to. Still, it's probably from a eukaryote, which means it came from an animal, plant, or fungus rather than a bacterium or virus. Yet, the bulk of the DNA samples is from diatoms, a phytoplankton that persists in the world's seas and is the foundation of most marine food webs. Factorian Deep, the newest deepest point. The most precise map of Antarctica's freezing southern ocean has been produced, featuring the ocean's newest deepest point, the Factorian Deep, which rests over 24,400 feet below the sea surface. The Factorian Deep, located at a depth comparable to around 17 Empire State buildings stacked top to bottom, was found in 2019 by the American explorer and entrepreneur Victor Vescovo as part of his Five Deeps expedition to survey the deepest location of the world's five oceans. Vescovo personally drove a submersible dubbed Limiting Factor, after which the Factorian Deep was named to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean's South Sandwich Trench 
an underwater canyon spanning around 965 kilometers of seabed between South America and Antarctica. The trench cuts across the 60th parallel south, an invisible latitude circle 60 degrees south of the equator that separates the Atlantic and Southern Seas. For the first time, Vescovo's voyage charted the entire length of the South Sandwich Trench, revealing the Southern Ocean's newest deepest point just south of the 60th parallel. Fossil Forest Antarctica was not always a frozen wasteland. Trees grew near the South Pole millions of years ago, when the continent was still part of the massive Southern Hemisphere landmass known as Gondwana. Now, newly discovered, detailed fossils of some of these trees are shedding light on how the plants flourished and what forests look like as they migrate northward in today's warming globe. Antarctica maintains an ecological history of polar biomes that spans 400 million years, which is practically the whole history of plant evolution, said Eric Golbrinson, a paleoecologist from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Golbrinson and his colleagues are concentrating on a period centered on 252 million years ago, during the Permian-Triassic mass extinction. Over 95% of Earth's species perish during this catastrophe. Scientists believe that colossal greenhouse gas emissions from volcanoes triggered the end by raising the plant's temperatures to severe levels and acidifying the waters. According to Golbrinson, there are apparent similarities to modern climate change, which is less catastrophic, but caused by greenhouse gases. World's largest iceberg getting swept away from Antarctica to its doom. After gently floating around Antarctica for more than a year and scarcely melting, the world's most enormous iceberg may soon be put on an expected trajectory towards its destruction, according to a new satellite picture. The massive ice slab, A76A, is around 84 miles long and 16 miles broad. It's the most significant part of the world's previous most enormous iceberg. The Rhode Island size A76, which broke off from the western edge of Rhone Ice of Antarctica shelf in May 2021, and subsequently fragmented into three chunks, A76A, A76B, and A76C. On October 31st, NASA's Terra satellite photographed A76A drifting near the entrance of the Drake Passage, a deep waterway connecting the Pacific and Atlantic seas between the South Shetland Islands and Cape Horn in South Africa, to the north of Antarctica Peninsula. The picture shows the girthy berg now resting between the South Orkney Islands and Elephant Island near the southern end of the channel. Still, its trajectory suggests that it may migrate farther north into the canal in the coming weeks. Evidence of a Parallel World According to a study, a group of NASA scientists working on an experiment in Antarctica discovered evidence of a parallel world, where the principles of physics are the polar opposite of our own. The concept of a parallel universe has existed since the early 1960s, mainly in the minds of sci-fi TV shows and comic book fans. Still, now a cosmic ray detection experiment has discovered particles that could be from a parallel realm that was also born in the Big Bang, according to the Daily Star. The specialists utilize a massive balloon to transport NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, far over Antarctica, where the chilly, dry air created the ideal setting with little to no radio noise to skew its results. A continual wind of high-energy particles comes to Earth from space. According to the findings, low-energy subatomic neutrinos with masses close to zero may flow fully through the Earth, while our planet's solid matter halts higher-energy particles. It implies the high-energy particles can only be detected traveling down from space, but the teams Anita observed heavier particles, known as tau neutrinos, going up from the Earth. However, more readily digestible explanations have mainly been ruled out, with the particles perhaps going back in time, offering theoretical proof of a parallel world. Which of these findings is most intriguing to you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. You can click on the thumbnails on the screen for more exciting videos like this. Take care.